Hi, my name is Tal Bass. I'm a software developer at AGI. I work on the Aviator part of SDK. And today we're going to see how you can use Aviator to model a hypersonic mission or a hypersonic flyout. I'd like to note that anything you're going to see today uh, is based on notional data and open source data, uh, mostly taken from various news sites and textbooks. Systems Toolkit, or STK, is a physics-based modeling simulation analysis tool that can be used to help design, build, and operate an aircraft or air system. This video is about how this multi-domain environment can be used specifically for hypersonic vehicles in a mission context. SDK's Aviator module provides a rich set of aerodynamics, propulsion, and guidance models that can be used out of the box in order to fly a high fidelity trajectory under realistic conditions. Aviator is a dual use product and can also be used to model civil and commercial flight trajectories as well as what will be shown today. The built-in models are first principle models making use of standard gas dynamics relationships. However, if you have a custom model for aero propulsion or guidance, you'll be able to interface those models with SDK through the use of SDK's API and Aviator's plugin architecture. By combining this functionality with Teeny Toolkit to ingest flight test data, you can compare your digital model with actual test flight data and can fine tune your digital model to closely represent the actual system. This will allow you to use your model throughout the life cycle for requirements analysis, platform design, test planning, and post-flight analysis, and will ultimately allow you to rapidly trace design to performance to overall cost. Aviator does a full force balance as the vehicle flies, computing AOA, or angle of attack, thrust and drag values. Aviator's trajectory and route options enable a vast array of maneuvers from oscillating fugoids to spirals to closely model possible hypersonic reentry flight paths. An aviator vehicle can be launched from an arbitrary stationary or moving object, meaning it can piggyback on SDK ballistic missile or a SDK astrogator generated launch vehicle for its exoatmospheric motion and then switch over to its native aviator atmospheric flight modes for reentry. These hypersonic vehicles and interceptors can be used as part of high fidelity timelines to model a full kill chain, including sensors and other platforms involved in that kill chain. By using time components and sequentially building out the trajectories using individual segments, uncertainties and tactical logic can be inserted into the kill chain to model how noise, those uncertainties, and various delays factor into the vehicle's ability to perform its mission, as well as the effect of countermeasures on the kill chain. You can use SDK to model surface-to-air missiles that engage the hypersonic vehicle and digitally simulate different trajectories, such as lofted and cruising trajectories. Lofted trajectories avoid most of the aerodynamic and propulsion complexities caused by a hypersonic flight regime by simply operating above the atmosphere. However, it must be able to survive reentry and perform its functions to find and kill its assigned targets. The Mach number, total temperature, and dynamic pressure or equivalent airspeed are key metrics to understand a vehicle's ability to survive reentry. Aviator can readily simulate these trajectories and compute these key parameters at every point in the flight. On the other hand, cruising trajectories require engines that can generate thrust at extreme speeds within the atmosphere. This is a substantially more challenging case than the lofted trajectory. The propulsion system for such a vehicle requires full integration with the aerodynamics and structural aspects of the vehicle. Because it's extremely difficult to maintain the necessary steady airflow through the engine, it is common for that type of vehicle to fly a constant angle of attack as it fixes the airflow geometry to satisfy the engine requirements. A constant AOA trajectory results in a fugoid motion which some commentators compare to smooth rock skipping off the top of the atmosphere. 
because Aviator has full fidelity motion models, you can model vehicles that fly constant AOA trajectories and compute the exact trajectory resulting from the fugoid motion. Overall, SDK provides a high fidelity physics-based modeling environment for simulating aircraft and air systems in a multi-domain mission context. This allows you to model your hypersonic system at each stage of the program lifecycle to increase efficiency, decrease cost, and plan more advanced flights. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about what you saw, feel free to go to agi.com or email support at agi.com.